say Freeze conspired with the cyber criminals known as the Regulators to steal thousands of dollars worth of experimental equipment from the ultra-secure facility. An unknown number of star scientists and staff were injured in the raid with multiple fatalities. Freeze and others involved remain at large. Batman would find a different way in. So, Robin should too. Looks like Clock King's on timeout. <laughs> that trick umbrella. Classic penguin. Ain't seen the bat around for a uh -oh. That better not be a problem.
the hell is he? This guy got taken out! I need to get creative. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Sorry, forgot how to door. But now that I'm here... Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Well then, do us both a favor. Tell me why you served your time when your friends didn't have to. Do you just like prison? Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who's handing out the get out of jail free cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. That won't stop me. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Beat it! Belfry. No luck with Penguin. Whatever he knows, he's not sharing. All right, come back to the Belfry and we'll regroup. Oh, Will do. See you soon. new intel to the board. Raiding Star Labs was a brash move, even for Freeze. We need to expect the worst from him. Penguin wouldn't talk to me. People still treat me like I'm just a sidekick. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city? We've been so focused on Batman's last case, we've let the rest of Gotham slide. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. 
there has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Along with whatever Penguin's really up to. Maybe if we interfere with his businesses and that of a few others, he'll feel more talkative. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Guess it's time for this bat to spread his wings. Not only a bat, Master Tim. A robin. An encrypted message from Fox Tecker. It's Lucius. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral. But I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. Does he know couriers exist? Knowing Lucius, I suspect he has something far more useful for us. When you reach Fox Tecker, head straight to the roof. Shit, where'd you come from? Robin. Not the person I was expecting to meet, but 
I suppose Batman trusts you? He has good things to say about you, which is why I think we can make a good team. How can I help? Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. I guess there will always be corruption in Gotham. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. And they won't stop until the good ones are all gone. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Batman wouldn't have made it this far without the help of good officers like you and Gordon. So I'll do it. And who knows? Maybe this will help us make more friends in the GCPD. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. You can count on me. Heck of a view, huh, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Did get an A on sneaking up on old guys. It doesn't feel like the same Gotham without Batman watching over it all. He always seemed like he was in five places at once. You're getting there. 
The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I think. Don't thank me yet. Nometra and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I got a breath between the gills, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... Is this the flowers? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this, the whole city will be at my fingertips. Now you can thank me. Thank you, Lucius. That drone is a thing of beauty, Mr. Fox. I can't wait to try it. So, how does it work? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Dang it! I should have known there'd be a catch. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne, I'll probably get shot down. What do I do? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. So if we can rewrite the drone's programming, I'll be a free bird, so to speak. The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. Which means I'm grounded until the drones are taken care of. I'll send you the location of the first one so you can get to work. What? 
I was looking for. There we go. Clean up time. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Stuck here babysitting a heart. Want me to set your organs too? Then stop talking. Where is it? I better stay out of sight. Be careful with those ice boxes. You don't want the new clients to get mad. Clients, clients. Cobble pop would have them before they ever reached us. The boss we can handle. The new clients?
count. an appointment? I'm kidding. Come here. Dr. Tompkins, I believe this organ is for you. Nothing surprises me anymore with these gangs. Thanks for the delivery. I've got a medical team lined up who can use it. I have to admit, I didn't think I'd be transporting organs today. We've put a lot of pressure on Penguin, Belfry. It's time to pay him another visit. Be careful, Mr. Cobblepot's not known for doing anything altruistically.
Welcome back, Master Tim.
So you can use a door after all. When the mood strikes me. not to answer them. I had that touched up recently. Sadly, my usual guy wasn't available. I never liked that thing. Clashes with the rest of the decor. I'm not even sure where it's from. Illumination is important, especially at my age. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Do me a favor, boy, and fetch that bottle of space side. You can watch me drink it while we talk. Every rich criminal I've looked into gets out of doing time at Blackgate. Why'd you serve yours? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? No one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> From the Powers Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're fine sending me there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Belfry, did you get that? Sounds like Penguin's feeling oddly helpful. Think he's trying to set you up? That seems likely. But if Penguin believes the Court of Owls is real, we want to at least investigate the possibility. All right. I'll bring up what I can on the court. Awesome. Belfry here. You want to do me a favor and check in on Alfred? He went out a while ago and he hasn't called. Again? Maybe he's just sick of us. Another meeting with Jacob Kane. He said he wanted to walk. This late? He knows how dangerous this city is. That's what I said. And he called me a mother hen. Anyway, someone should check on him. Read my mind.
Bedford. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Or it never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful. As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or empty the gun? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Belfry, find anything useful on the court? The court is an old folktale. The stuff circus people love. The legend has it they're an elite society that runs the town in secret. Controlling the city, huh? If they're for real, they're super good at keeping it secret. If there's any truth to these court stories, they could be behind all those releases from Blackgate. And those cases go back hundreds of years. Got it. Hopefully the Powers Club can tell us more. I pinned new information on the board. So what are you thinking, Montoya? You didn't exactly get along when I was on the street. She was a rookie when my dad was on the force. 